All right, everyone. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the Husqvarna Viking 6000 series sewing machines. These are literally the best machines ever made on the planet. All internal metal gearing, everything's super solid, does everything that you need from a sewing machine, and they don't make them like this anymore. So this machine's going to be up for sale on eBay soon. This is going to be your chance to get one that's fully restored. Everything works as it should. Only flaws with this machine are just a little bit of chipping to the paint and a little bit of cracking to the plastic cover on the back, which is glued back together now. Um, but again, a couple of the features of this machine. Um, one, it can do a variety of stitch patterns if you have the cam set that plugs into the back here. This can do straight stitch up to a six millimeter length and four millimeter zigzag. Um, and to demonstrate the fluidity, the fluidity of this machine, these knobs are the ones that usually get gummed up through the lifetime lubricant that was applied from the factory to these machines. It's a real big job to open up the back, scrape all that out, use penetrating lubricant to free up all the knobs and the gearing inside. Um, so I've already taken care of that for you, but listen to these knobs move freely in between their settings. Ones that have not been restored that you see on other sites, this is all going to be jammed up. It's not going to be a usable machine. And again, the reverse knob here works fine. All these knobs move freely. Feed dog drop right here works just fine. The feed dogs are dropped right now. You can open them back up. Um, and again, one of the cool things about this machine, you can easily wind the bobbin with everything still threaded. You just keep the presser foot up and you wind it through the back feed here and onto your bobbin. Super easy. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate the sewing capability of this machine through some thick nylon webbing here. Um, so first off, I'm going to make sure it's in the um, reduction gearing mode, which you just push out, push, pull out on the bottom winder here, and it engages the reduction gears. So here we go. We're going to sew just a little bit, six mil stitch length, and we can change this length down if we need. And if we wanted to go fast, I usually go in reduction gear. And let's go around the other way here. So if we want to do a zigzag, we just turn this knob and we can nail some zigzag. Reverse works no problem. Cool thing about the zigzag is if you reduce the length here, you can really do box stitches for repairing gear, um, if you need to attach webbing back onto backpacks, but you really just turn this knob so the stitch length is down low, maybe even to one. And let's see what that looks like. So, oh yeah, you can see how everything slowly got denser here. Really cool to be able to do that and repair your gear at home. Um, one other thing I want to show is that this is two layers of nylon webbing we've been sewing through. We've got it doubled up here so there's four. I'm going to show you how we can sew through that, no problem. So again, nope, oh, taking it out of zigzag. Let's get some stitch length in there. When I get to the end, I usually just reverse it like this. No problem. So check this out. When I'm sewing thick stuff here, I have this cotter pin through the presser foot here. This allows me to pull up on the presser foot if I need to get more material under here. A lot of machines, even walking foot machines, can't do this. So anytime I finish a stitch, I engage the feed dog drop so I can. the feed dogs aren't going to score the material when I pour it out. And here we go. Cut that off. And voila, 
This thing sews beautifully. If I needed a machine, I would keep this for myself forever, but I have about seven, so I'm gonna pass this on to the next person who wants to have an amazing lifetime all metal machine that can sew through basically anything. Enjoy.